Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer and I'm here to show you a car. So we're going to change the view a little bit and I'll show it to you. Everybody loves a good fashion doll and what do you need with a fashion doll? You need accessories and what's the coolest one you can get is a car. So um, there's a little story on this one. Obviously in front of me is the Barbie 57 Bel Air, the Chevy Bel Air. Um, which is such a cool car. I mean, even a grown-up size Bel Air is really cool. So, I happened to get this after the last Christmas because I started shopping early. And I happened to do this because QB kept sending me auctions showing the car and the different prices that they were really good prices and I thought oh you know we do this back and forth sometimes I send her things that she'd like sometimes I send things that I like so I never know and I go well did she really want it or do I want it I want it definitely so I picked it up and I thought well I was going to give it to her for Christmas or her birthday and then I thought well then she'll tell me you know it's so big I have no place to put it not that I have any place to put it either but then I thought, well, eventually she'll get it down the line anyway if I have it. So you have those days where you want to treat yourself. Well, this big box has been sitting in my closet since December, and it's always in the way. So I decided, she must have meant that I'd like it. So I decided to open it up and put it together. So I got her other things that she's going to like, so it's okay. Um, this is the Barbie 57 Chevy Bel Air. It came out um, when Barbie and the Sensations were out because, of course, they were all sitting in that really cool car. It's a really neat car because it holds four dolls. I love that it holds four dolls. Do I have them in there? In it? No, not yet. Um, the trunk opens. Um, it is a little persnickety on the trunk. It was mint in box. The bags were open a little bit, so they have been like exposed to air, so that's like a little bit, there's a little tarnish on little things, but it's not bad. And I thought when I put it together, I'm gonna have to be really careful because this is old plastic. The tires went on really easy. Uh, you put in all the little side strips on there, which were the more difficult part. And there, you see, I just got another one pushed in because I was afraid to push them all in because I didn't want them to break. Um, the front does not go up. Um, it's got a cute little steering wheel. And of course, it has those cute little Barbie seat belts, which they wouldn't have had in the 50s anyway because we didn't use seat belts, you know. But it is so cool. It's uh, more aqua than blue. The advertisement shows it as blue. And it was a perfect price. Now they came out with this car a second time uh, when Lights and Lace uh, collection came out and they turned it into a pink Chevy Bel Air. So I think that one's supposed to be a little more rare. So if you find it, find it. This one's got some little bit dings on there. It was brand new in the box. You know, there's a little smudges on the windshield though it was never put on the car. It was in its plastic. So just be assured that if you pick up something and it's mint in box, it still might show those little age spots on them just from living in a bag or a box. Now see this one, I didn't push it in all the way either because I was so worried that they would just break. Lights and Lace came out in 1990. This one came out um, either 88 or 89. All right, so another car that came out around that time, well actually in 86, would be Gems Rock and Roadster which is such a cool car. This one's not mine. See, she already had a car, so she didn't need two big cars. Um, the one thing I love about this is I love the colors. I love the green and the orange and the pink, and it just all really styling. And the front comes up. And the back, there's an AM FM radio in it. And um, after looking at some advertisements, apparently you can take the cord that it would have come with or the other one came with, the speaker, and hook it up to the big giant speaker playset that they had. So that's another thing to look and try. Um, this one's just missing the, the ornament here and um, the back. So it's a really cool car. So they upped themselves, the other company did, by saying, hey, well, we're going to put a radio in ours. And they came back out the next year with this same car and called it Glitter and Gold and just changed the colors. And it still had the radio in it. 
So if you're looking for the little radio for that little novelty kind of bit, look for both of them and hopefully somebody's got a really good price on there. They sell little things like little parts of it on broken ones on eBay where somebody will say, I have the hood ornament or I have the fender on both of these cars. So you can take one and put it back together the way it was. Another really cool car that decided to up the ante a little bit would be the um, My Scene Goes Hollywood Party Limo, which is so cool. This is the My Scene Party Limo. came out in 2005. Um, it opens up, it holds a great number of dolls, the hood, um, the, the roof goes up. I'm not trying it right now because I'm just showing a little overview because I've done a video on this before. So this will come up so you can have more room. It's a party limo. So you can tell that I like big cars, which they are. So they upped it. They didn't give you an AM FM radio or anything cool like that or a little something to put into your MP3 player, but it has lights and it has a lot of room and it's just humongous. Now this one I had gotten at a thrift store, so it's got a lot of dings on it back and forth, but it is still really cool just for the whole effect of a big giant car, you know? Um, I forgot to say on the 57 Chevy, the only thing you had to put stickers on there and the stickers were still good. Uh, the only thing I didn't put stickers on were the seats because once the doll sits there, I figure it's just gonna just wear out. So I didn't do that part, but I'm fine with that. So um, I don't like stickers on things because then they just, people pull them off. So it looks really messy, but I thought I'd show this to you. So there's a few cars, if you like big cars for your dolls that you might want to look for. The Rock and Roadster, the 57 Bel Air, or the um, Party Limo. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any questions or do you own these? Are you looking for them too? Um, there are some really good prices. Actually, the 57 Chevy, it's really weird. You can go from very, very low for a mint in one to suddenly somebody skyrocketed and then up the shipping by $50 too. So it, you have to keep kind of looking back and forth for them. But I do like it in mint in a box because no one's played with it. So, um, let me know. Do you have one? Are you looking for it? And I'll talk to you later. Bye.